Hi, my name is Hermit in the Forest and this is my unboxing of the Magic Candle 2, the 4 and 40. This is the sequel uh, of the Magic Candle and a second game in the Magic Candle trilogy. Uh, again, you play as Lucas and hire a party of up to six adventurers and this time you have to find the 44 mages that are the guardians of light and who are responsible for restoring the magic candle that uh, keeps that keeps the demon Drex imprisoned so he can't escape so they are missing in this game uh, gameplay of this game is the same as the Magic Candle 1, similar to Ultima games featuring top-down view and, as I said already, control of a party of up to six adventurers and based heavily on plot and storytelling. Okay, let's take a look at the box art. Pretty nice. This game had a lot enhanced graphics compared to the Magic Candle 1. Magic Candle 1 was more similar to Ultima 5, while this one uh, resembles anti Ultima 6. Okay, now let's turn the box around and see the back side, where there are some pictures from the game and info about the game. Here's some nice map printed on the box. Take a look at some pictures. Yay! Okay, and here's some text about the game. Face the horrors of dungeons, catacombs, dark towers and abandoned mines. Nice. Okay. Return to the award-winning world of the magic candle. Okay, now I open the box and let's see what is inside. Good. Well, first of all, there is the game, of course. It comes on 5.2 inches disc again. There are two, disc one and disc two. Then there is, this will be probably the map. Yeah, sure. This was printed on the game box on the back side, but this is much bigger. Okay, here are some of the locations of the game world. Oh, here's some water dragon. Good, so this is the map. Now what's next? Here's some uh, card. I don't know what it is. Outfit. Well, hmm, something like reference card about equipment. And a map of Tellermaine. That's the city of King Ribnard, where King Ribnard resides. Okay, Minecraft order form. Good, what's next? Oh, quest book. Uh, quest book offer. Advertisement. That's a uh, clue book, of course. Well, what's this? Special offer for Minecraft customers. Yeah, that's some advertisement for uh, Minecraft games. Now, about the mouse. Mouse has no effect with this version of the Magic Candle 2. I apologize. Okay, so this is something like read me first. That mouse doesn't work. And here is 
here is the registration card and of course the game manual there are two actually first of all there is this paragraph book well what is this this is something to do with the story of course but yeah it's probably the same as the journals were as adventure journals were in SSI gold box games because it wasn't possible to write the whole story into a computer game so it was partly written in the game box manuals okay well yeah that's the story I think it's this yeah so when you play those games there was just a comment that you should look into this paperwork and there it was written what is happening in more detail okay and the last thing is the proper menu take a look at the table of contents Okay, something about installing the game, yeah, it's pretty thick and nice. This manual is actually glued together, it's not just papers put together, like normal manuals are, but it's a paperback book. Okay, status screens, yeah many info here sadly no pictures no pictures at all oh here's someone here's some picture of an archer yeah skills classic skills like in all games mm, here's researching nice one soul reading okay so this is all the skills here's something about a party and items something about combat and after victory magic okay here's some enemy again that's some goblin probably inhabitants of the game world okay some places and on the back side there is the credits again created by the same author as the first game Ali Atabak and here are the others who participated okay and that is all that was in the box. I thank you very much for watching this video.